join me in reading of the college's mission statement located at the back of your program. COM FSM Mission Statement. The College of Micronesia FSM is a learner-centered institution of higher education that is committed to the success of the Federated States of Micronesia by providing academic and career and technical educational programs characterized by continuous improvement and best practices. Thank you. You may be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our interim president of the College of Micronesia FSF, Mrs. Karen Simeon, to say the welcoming remarks. Good morning. Please allow me a few minutes to pay respects to members of the FSM national government, members of our diplomatic corps, members of the state government, traditional leaders, acting secretary Arthur Albert, board of regent chair Suzanne Gowan, other members of our board of regents, Mauricio Santiago, our guest speaker, vice presidents, deans, faculty, staff, family and friends, and most importantly, our graduates. Good morning. It is my privilege as interim president of COM FSM to welcome you to the 75th commencement exercises. Commencement is one of the most important milestones of our students and their families' lives, a celebration of the conclusion of their academic career and recognition of their many personal achievements as students. For the parents and families of our students, commencement provides yet another point of pride. I would like to ask that parents and family members of our graduates stand and be recognized. Please stand. We'll give you a round of applause. <laughs> for all of us and for our faculty, most especially, commencement is an opportunity to acknowledge our work and success in educating the young men and women who represent the future hopes dreams, and aspirations of FSM. Each of us, regardless of our position, has an important role in fulfilling the promise we make to our students through our mission statement, yet none is as important as our faculty. So faculty, please rise and be recognized. Faculty. To our faculty, thank you for your significant contribution to the education of our students and to the future of the FSM. We are proud to celebrate the achievements of a total of 151 spring graduates across the college, 27 from the Career and Technical Education Center, 22 from two campus nine from Coast Ray Campus, and 93 from National Campus. YAP Campus finishes their final exams today, and they have 15 potential graduating students. Nine of our 151 graduates are receiving their Bachelor of Science in Elementary Education. 22 of the confirmed graduates are on the president's list, 12 on the dean's list, and one on the honor roll list. One of the graduates in the BS and elementary education program will receive honors cum laude. 
The theme for this commencement reads, the success of your journey starts the moment you decide not to give up. And your presence at commencement today makes it obvious that you have achieved success since you didn't give up. Today is only a celebration along your journey, though. It is the hope of faculty and staff at the college for each of you to have formed the academic foundation to be successful today and into the future. It is our hope for each of you that we have helped you develop the personal characteristics that will make you successful. It is our hope that we have made you brave so you don't give up. If you are brave, you can do anything. Be brave to try new things, to make changes or be flexible when needed, to pursue your passion, to connect with others, to make a commitment, to be honest, and to believe in yourself. E.E. E. Cummings, a 20th century American poet, said, it takes courage to grow up and become who you really are. All you have to do to continue on your journey is be brave, even if it's only for 20 seconds. Amazing things will happen. Congratulations, graduates. Speaker will be by the salutatorian of the graduating class of Spring 2022, Miss Martha Jacob Asher. Good morning. First of all, I would like to thank our Heavenly Father for blessing us another day to live and celebrate this special occasion. Standing up here, I am very honored to welcome our special guests, faculty and staff, friends, family, and parents to the graduation ceremony for the class of 2022. On behalf of my fellow graduates, I would like to say thank you for joining us in this momentous occasion and implore you all to give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> Introducing our commencement speaker of 2022, he was born on September 14, 1988, in Bombay to Martha Santiago, a native woman, and George Valentino, a Filipino man. He is the eldest of five kids. He has three brothers and one sister. With his wife, Andrea, they share two beautiful children, one boy and one girl. He attended Omine Elementary School that went to attend Peaks High School in 2003. After three years, he was selected to be the salutatorian of graduating class of 2006. During his time in Peaks, he was part of the Upward Bound program, advancing his programs, his knowledge in the areas where he struggled with growing up, English and science. Part of the package deal with the program was maintaining a high GPA to stay eligible for the services. After high school, he enrolled at the College of Micronesia FSA during the summer 2006 semester where he studied health career opportunities and programs, or HCOP. He always wanted to become a surgeon when he grew up, but life had other plans for him. After he graduated college in 2008 with an associate's degree in HCOP, his family was in serious need of financial support, so instead of continuing his studies, he joined the military. In 2009, he completed the basic training at Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego, California, and was the only Pacific Islander during graduation day. That same year, he was transferred to Camp Lynchwood, North Carolina, for military occupational school, where he finished 
at the top out of 200 Marines and was meritoriously promoted to the next rank. He served honorably in the military for eight years, accumulating leadership principles and practices for his next journey. Throughout his time in the Marine Corps, he worked as an administrative clerk in Jacksonville, North Carolina, with the Marine Special Operations Unit called MARSOC or MARSOC, until he was promoted to the next rank and was transferred to San Diego, California. He then became a supervisor for more than 30 Marines and 50 civilians. When he was stationed in San Diego, California, he attended San Diego State University, taking online classes, but had to withdraw from classes due to his military duties. In 2016, he came back to Bombay and took the whole year off to acquaint himself with his family and friends again. He started attending College of Micronesia FSA during the 2017 spring semester, where he majored in business administration. He then received his associate's degree in business administration the following years and continued on with the third year certificate program. After he received his third year certificate, he enrolled at Walden University in 2020, taking online courses until he received his bachelor's in business administration. Last year, he, had, he started his MBA program at Walden University. Now, he is three classes away from achieving his master's degree. He started working at the College of Micronesia FSA in 2019 as an accountant specialist with the business office. Currently, he is working as the business trainer or office manager for the Center for Entrepreneurship at the College of Micronesia FSM. His short-term goal is to become a business instructor for the college next year. His multiple goal is to become a politician for Bombay. Ladies and gentlemen, he is a man of great achievements and many experiences. Please welcome our commencement speaker of 2022, Mr. Marciano Santiago.